it's just been a disaster. They started off putting the immigrants over in the police station. And as they started to move them out of the police station, they stealthily started to put them in our neighborhoods. Well, the neighbors, the neighborhood didn't want them. The residents, the citizens, we pushed back, but the deal was already done. And so they were bringing in a lot of military-aged men into the community. I mean, we're not blind, we're not stupid, we're not obtuse. We know what's going on. But unfortunately, the people who run this city, they don't care what the people think. So they started putting them into quiet residential neighborhoods like Washington Park, middle-class black neighborhoods. We're still pushing back. We don't want them here. The crime rate has gone up since they've been here. That's a fact. Nobody wants to talk about it, but we live it every day. You heard that? She said they are putting these illegals in middle-class black neighborhoods. See, a lot of black people like to ignore this. They think it's only impacting poor black folks. No, they are now placing illegals all over the place. Not just poor black neighborhoods, but middle-class black neighborhoods too. And it's not just black people. We all know about the migrant situation in New York City, but now New Jersey is involved. That's because a new situation in New York that's restricting buses from coming from the south with these migrants on board. They have restrictions on when they could get into the city, how they could get into the city. So what's going on are, is that these buses are stopping at train stations in New Jersey. Imagine being so excited because you just bought a house in this neighborhood, a house that cost around $250,000, $300,000. And you decide to go for a walk. You go for a walk to the CVS, it's just right around the corner, and look what you run into. A bunch of white tents. Do you know what it means when you see a bunch of white tents? Those white tents right there are housing probably close to 2,000 illegal immigrants in a neighborhood right here in Chicago. How would that make you feel if they decided to put these up in your local CVS neighborhood? I think where these tents should go these tents need to be moved on over to million dollar neighborhoods where the politicians live. Move them right over to your neighborhood. I went to Mike Chicago's house yesterday, Brandon Johnson. I went to his house. There were no tents around his neighborhood. There was a policeman sitting outside of his house and there were orange cones in front of his house protecting his house. It's spilling over impacting everybody from legal Hispanics to other legal immigrants, black people and white people. Shout out to Numbers USA. They spoke to black folks in Chicago to hear what they had to say about the migrant crisis and how it's destroying the black community. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. What policies would you like to see in place that would um, limit the um, amount of people that are there? Well, listen, there are policies on the book in Congress already. They need to enforce the laws that are already on the books. These people are here illegally. Again, they're not seeking asylum. If they were seeking asylum, they would have gone to the first country that would have granted them asylum, which would have been Mexico. What I would like to see them do, if they're here illegally, they need to go back to their country of origin. And that's immediately. We have no allegiance to these folks, okay? We don't care where they're from. This is 100% true. We don't owe these people anything. Yet they're getting thousands of dollars in food stamps, free rent, education vouchers, cash, loans. Back in 2019, I purchased my first food truck. It cost me over $25,000. I paid it cash money. I worked hard to pay for this truck. I'm now selling it because I'm just gonna, I'm doing other things, but I'm selling it. I had a guy come to look at purchasing my vehicle. Of my food truck and he explained to me he's an illegal immigrant he has no credit he has no money in the bank but he showed me his paperwork that he will receive funds to purchase my food truck I'm thankful that he's buying it but I'm hurt that I work so hard to pay cash for my food truck. I have good credit. Can't even get a business loan because of the color of my skin. I have veterans in my family. I'm a veteran. I've been self-employed for so long. 
But somebody, please tell me, how do I work so hard to have somebody who comes to this country, not long, no credit, and he shows me paperwork where they'll be funding him money. Does the Democratic um, platform seem to satisfy your needs as far as what you'd like to see with our immigration policy? But what platform is that? They don't seem to have a platform. They seem to have open borders. Everybody can come here. Listen, people live in their homes. You have a home or you have a department. Do you have a front door on your home? Yes, I do. Do you have a back door? Yes, I do. Are they locked? They're locked. Are you time. locking because you're racist? No. You're locking because? I'm protecting my four children that I, I have at home. Exactly. Same thing with our borders, okay? It has nothing to do with racism. We have to protect our sovereignty. Yeah. We have to protect the citizens here. We have to protect our homeland. And so we have to close those borders. Absolutely. By any means necessary. Building a wall is an excellent idea. Look at the DNC convention. They built all kinds of walls of security. They have all kinds of police. They wanted to defund the police. They didn't want police protection. But listen, when it comes to them, it's always uh, hypocrisy, you know. This system made a good point. If everybody's okay with open borders, how about you unlock your doors in your house, leave them wide open, put a note there for all the intruders, maybe some cookies. So next time they don't have to bust open the door or slide through your window. They can have easy access to you, your family, and everything you have. Even better, when they run up in your house, already have the money packed up too on the table for them. You know, in a nice briefcase. Put your money in there, your credit cards. Just hand it all over to them and thank them for their service. Do you see how crazy that is? Why is it that you get to come here? You ain't put no money on the books, no taxes, bled no wars. You've contributed nothing intellectually here. And you get to come here, you get all these resources that the average American can't. What about our homeless children? What about our veterans? This is, this is the game right now. Wow. So all of those things are connected and it starts by not giving the children the resources that they need because you're still in the money. So you have these immigrants coming in. I have no, I mean, if you need to flee where you live, yeah, come in, but don't neglect your own children. Yeah. You're giving money. All of a sudden, you come up with all this money. You found all this money, yeah. you know, to go. throw at their needs and stuff. Our kids need a line in these bills or whatever. There needs to be a line in there that at-risk children get the same type of accommodations, modifications, and monies needed to help them access the curriculum too, okay? Absolutely. Do not leave our American children out. Everybody says that the Democratic Party, you know, has an agenda behind bringing immigrants over because they can no longer depend on the black vote. So they're trying to replace our votes. Okay. Yes, they're yelling, cursing, screaming at us right now to support them while supporting them is supporting our own demise. A lot of black people are waking up and on to their game. They're trying to replace us with illegal immigrants and give them access to all the laws and money that was supposed to be for us. Why America has all of these these provisions like affirmative action and set asides and, and civil rights laws. It, it is because of the shame and guilt about slavery and Jim Crow, both little democratic enterprises, by the way, um, that so it all has to be spent on black Americans, not on on any any loser with a grievance from around the world. And that's what it's become. Immigration, period, is a problem and has always harmed the freedmen. Illegal immigration is crushing the whole country. Stop saying, I'm okay with uh, the immigration. Exactly. They've brainwashed a lot of black Americans to go along with this diabolical plan and even have the so-called black elite and the boule out here trying to make us accept this foolishness too. When you think about what's going on in the United States of America right now and in Chicago with mass immigration, what are three words that come to mind that for you? Very, very angry. Mm, tell me more about that. 
I'm going to put this at the feet of the Democratic Party, the Biden administration, because we've never seen a surge in immigration like we have seen under this administration. It's all by design. It's deliberate. The Democratic Party realizes that the black vote is dwindling because the Democratic Party has not delivered for the black community in the way that the black community has delivered for the Democratic Party in terms of votes. Mm -hmm. And they realize that. So what do they do? What do they do? They go around the world and they open up these borders and they let people come from around the world, poor, vulnerable people from around the world come into this country and it was very strategic. You let them go into cities like New York. You let them come into cities like Chicago. You let them come into cities that uh, where there's a large black population. Now they're all over the city of Chicago, but the majority of them now in Chicago are on the west and the south side of Chicago. Poor neighborhoods, neighborhoods that are struggling, that have been struggling for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So. You bring these people into Hyde Park, you bring these people into South Shore, they put them in a hotel literally right across the street from me. They're paying no rent, they're paying no rent, their food is being provided for, they don't even make their beds, they have a maid mm -hmm. to go and make their beds every day. How do I know? Because I live on the 25th floor and I can look right down on that hotel every day, every night, and I see what's going on. We don't want them in our community. Let them go back to where they came from. Because it's my position that if you have a problem with your country, then you stay and you make it better by fighting that government. Mm -hmm. Making your government do what it needs to do by its people, because that's what we do in this country. That's what I've been doing all of my life. I don't have any place to run to. America is my home. It's my country. We built it. Yeah, black Americans built this country. And another lie they've been running around spreading for a while now is that immigrants built this country. They're trying to change history, but no. If black people weren't here in America going through everything they went through, then there wouldn't be a country for everybody else to immigrate to. We got to stop allowing folks, especially newcomers, to write black people out of history. You know, earlier this week, I touched on this with both Grant Cardone and Ann Coulter, surprisingly speaking some truth that slid under the radar. All of that was to make up for the legacy of, of slavery and Jim Crow. So unless these benefits are going to, you know, roughly defined, foundational black Americans, the descendants of, of American slaves. Um, you've taken away the whole purpose of this, and that is exactly what's happened once we got this, this huge load of immigrants. The American Rescue Plan and the Inflation Reduction Act that delivered nothing to this country, it was $3.2 trillion. That could have built 8 million homes, or it could have provided 48 million black households with uh, $300,000 in cash, but that didn't happen either. If you missed those videos, the links are below. You definitely want to check those out after this video. When the buses started rolling in, a lot of the American citizens, black citizens, did not realize what they were here for. But once that they got here, they started to bring them into the black community. And we started to do research, and that's when I found out that it was Kamala Harris that opened the borders up in California and allowed all the gangs, the Mexican gangs, to come across. And they took Compton and all the other black cities, similar to what we're seeing across the United States today. Yeah, they've been doing this to us. Look how they destroyed California, taking over black communities, pushing blacks to other states, mostly cities in Texas, but they're also moving to cities like Vegas, in Atlanta. Ask yourself, why are all these black people moving to Texas? Don't you think they would rather stay in California where they're from? What's the real reason why blacks and a bunch of others are leaving California? Finding the answer to that question is going to lead you to what they don't want you to know. The truth. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Why are black people ignoring the migrant crisis, even though they see other black people impacted by this? Special thank you to Byron H. I appreciate you, Byron, for all of your support as well as Stanley, 
Dark Power, Eric, The Wall Reports, Ramon, and Emmanuel. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.